Guys, there is fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. Hey, biggie, biggie fire. <laughs> hey, you're welcome back to my channel. Hello, information reaching us right now allegedly is that they said the palace is in disarray. As the elders are on the run, as KBSC have decided to arrest them. Some of them who are leaking the outcome of their meeting to the Oloris, the Seca BAC is out for them this time around, and every one of them is on the run. <laughs> anyway, guys, before you, we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and share my video. Guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I shall see the message now so I carry and come share with you here. According to the information, no, they said some time ago we heard that KBAC dissolved some of the Council of Elders. And the major reason why he dissolved them happens to be that most of them are working against him and the Quinamis return. And... Another reason is because most of them are collecting bribe from the Oloris, especially Auntie B and the Auntie Blo Blo, whom it looks as if their main mission in that palace is not get, is not to get married, but to ensure that Penomi did not return back to that palace. We, uh, maybe they know uh, their reason for that. So when KBSC find out that without some of these elders, the women might not be able to achieve some of the things that they wanted to achieve. Uh, KBSC have to dissolve the elders. They said after dissolving the elders, KBSC decided that uh, if you want to work with him as an elder, as a council of chief, you need to take an oath. Oath of uh, 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 allegiance. That your allegiance should be for him and not for the wives. You know? And you shouldn't betray them for any reason. Not because of money or anything, because they said the women are, read, are always giving them dollars. There was a time they said uh, Auntie Blow Blow was giving each and every one of them $3,000. You know what that means? Just to be by her side. And the reason why it looks as if the women are succeeding was because after the meetings, you do know that the women are not joining them in their meetings. After the meetings, the elders will have to call them and tell them the outcome of the meeting and collect money from them and tell them the way forward because all of those things are the things that they might have discussed in the meeting and they will be carrying out their task winning kbsc will always be surprised how is this thing going on? how 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 not knowing that the people that he is working with are stabbing him on the back so when he dissolved that particular group he decided to uh make the next group to take an oath of which they say some people took an oath while others said that they are not going to take any oath and they stopped being part of that council of chiefs so with uh, after some time uh it looks as if kbsc was winning mm -hmm. and that was why we started hearing that uh, their reunion is about to happen right now they said they are going through some cleansing rituals after which she will come back officially to the palace and this is happening because most of these elders who give information to the women are no longer in the meeting. And some of them, if they want to, they will remember the oath that they took. But only recently, KBOC noticed that a lot of things are going wrong again. And they said he went to uh, if a priest. He entered the shrine. After so many consultations and all of that, it was revealed to him that some of the elders are also uh, are collecting money again from the women. And they did something that will make them that even if they, they collect the money, it is not going to affect them. Because you know that he subjected some of them under an oath. So with all of that going on, KBSC decided that he, there must be a way out. He don't, want, he don't want to arrest them by not having any tangible reason against them. So he decided to set them up. They said there was this particular elder that the elder is, uh, 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 is trustworthy. He can't betray KBSC. So KBSC called the elders and asked him, do you know about things like this? He said, no. He said, okay, uh, he should put his eyes down and monitor the situation and see how these people operate. They said shortly after that discussion with KBSC, an elder approached him 
because he knows that that elder knows that that particular elder in question uh, can talk to KBS and KBS will listen. So they wanted to come and buy the the particular elder off, you know, give him huge amount of money so that he will be on their path, on their side to ensure that Kwenomi did not return back to the palace. So because the man is on assignment for KBS to help him fish out the particular people that are collecting this money from the elders, from the women, and giving out their information, the outcome of their meeting to these people. It was through this elder right now, they said KBSU was able to know who and who. Because the man in question was asking the person that came to bribe him, how many of you are involved? So that let me know how we will play our game in order to win. They said the elder now told him how many of them that have been collecting. And they, and they said, the other told him that they are collecting cool cash. More than what KBS is giving to them. Because they say KBS used to give them money. So that they won't say it's because of money that they are misbehaving. So they, they told the elder that in question. So they told the elder in question that uh, he is wasting his time. You know, that they are collecting a whole, as a huge amount of money from these women. Who really want to know the way forward and because they don't want to leave to, they don't want to leave the palace anything you, you tell them to bring they will make sure that they bring it so that was how uh, the man find out how many of them that we are collecting the bribe so they said on their next meeting they were all gathered smiling and uh, you know rejoicing especially the, they have collected a huge amount from uh, the women now they are waiting for KBSC to come so that they will join their force together to tell KBSC that this will not happen, this will happen, and all of that. They said the next thing they saw was uh, army squad. They said KBSC came with security squad to come and they get them arrested. Then a lot of people were saying, why are they, why are they, getting, why are they arresting them? They said KBSC opened his mouth to tell the people that everything that they have discussed in their meeting, that the wives have it at, the, at their palms, all thanks to these elders because they are collecting money. And they said there is something that they are doing so that the oath that they took will not be effective on them. And I said, now, wow, now, wow, my people. See, uh, KBSC needs to be very careful because in every 12, there must be Judas. But these days, I don't think it's in every 12. Maybe in every three, Judas. Every three, Judas. My people, wonder shall never end though. Thank God, at least KBSC is now uh, 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 very, uh, how will I put it? His eyes are now clear, knowing that these elders, they don't mean well for him. But they want Quinomi not to return so that the, the women will be in charge. Anyway, guys, like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Bye for now. Love you guys.